Well, the 11th of December, late, and the number 11 carries great significance for any Newcastle fan who witnessed the 92-93 uh, promotion season, or certainly the start of it anyway. Mm. Yeah, 33 points out of 33, I seem to recall. Uh, Can't get much better than that, can you? No, 11th win coming at Roger Park. Indeed, Mr O'Brien. Mr O'Brien, Lee, Robin, yeah. Andy, or Andy. <laughs> yeah. um, Any O'Brien. Any O'Brien do me, yeah. I mean, hey, that, that, was, a, that was a great... Great period, as you say, to be a Newcastle fan. It's laid the foundations not only for promotion, but yeah. for a lot of success That's right, in years yeah. to come in the Premier on. League. Yeah. And, you know, gave fans that winning feeling mm. that they hadn't experienced. You know, to get 11 wins in a season would have been an achievement oh, yeah. in previous years, but for them uh, to get 11 on the spin, I mean, the class of uh, 2009, if you like, yeah, yeah. Haven't, didn't quite emulate that at the start of the season because they drew the first game but yeah, yeah. were they ever going to do that? No I don't think you'll ever um, I don't think you'll ever recreate the sort of the feel and the atmosphere mm. that was created by those 11 wins it wasn't just the fact that they won 11 games on, on the spin Aye. it was the way they won them and it was just the way they played football when you consider all the fear mm. that had been attached to the back end of the previous season you know Aye. it was just yeah, the whole of time top was just gripped by this terrible, you know, fear of going down to the third flight for the first time in the club's history, and, and what would you know lie beyond that. Um, and then Keegan just turned it all around in the space of that first three months of that season. Uh, I mean, do any of the games in that eleven match run stand out from any of the others? I know it's difficult, but obviously there's the Sunderland game. The, Sun uh, the Sunderland game is obviously the the one that does stick out. Uh, I think we've mentioned it already on this series about uh, the five 0 against Bristol City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a that was a good win. Uh, there was I think there was a, sort of a, a couple of sort of scrappy wins. I think it'd be Tramia one 0 at St James's Park. Mm -hmm. But the game that got it all going for me was uh, the South End game at home. Yeah. When Paul Bracewell on his debut yeah, scored yeah. an absolute thunder. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously chucking down with rain, typical tight side mm -hmm. summer, but. It was just you know we're off and running. We'd, we'd got to we'd got to win, and then it, it was like almost the relegation phase from the season, season before were completely gone, and the whole city was just thinking, hey, we're, we're going to the Premier League here. Absolutely. And I think everybody tapped into King's enthusiasm, mm. and uh, you, you know you you can't you can't buy that. You know I mean no. you know if you if you market that kind of stuff, you will be a millionaire. I think. Yeah, I mean there just seemed to be that unstoppable momentum, not just at home. Mm. But away from home, you know, you remember they were just cruising through away games. I remember the, I think one of them was against Peterborough, and you know, Peterborough was just sort of taken over by mm. the Geordie Hordes. Yeah. And Kevin Sheedy might have scored that day, and it was just something inevitable about Newcastle winning, which is why when Groomsbury came up here, yeah, the sense of sort of disbelief and, and surprise and shock. <laughs> I mean, obviously, what it was, it was far from a massive blow, but in certain, it was a huge surprise when Jim Dobbins, you know, stuck that Jim one in Dobbin. and. Um, you know the run came to an end. I don't think anyone could believe it. Least of all King Kev. Mm, I think by the end of this series, we'll have to find out what Jim Dobbin does for a living. These Absolutely, days. yeah. I bet he's probably <laughs> living off that goal. <laughs>